Hi, sisters. <laughs> Welcome again. I hope you don't want to throat punch me. Round number two today. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. The first post was I Surrender. It was a God wink uh, story about leaning into fear and uh, just some symbolism with the hawk that flew over and the feather and just the cool signs that are all around us. This live is about our attitude, our attitudes. And this isn't really like, you know, I enjoy talking about this, but sometimes this can trigger people. And so, you know, it's not my intention to, to offend anybody, but I'm going to keep it real because this is my story. You guys, I used to have such a, I had so many bad attitudes around so many things. And I'll have to, I was laughing. The reason I'm laughing is giggling is because I, a memory came up of when I was younger and was, I used to walk around a mountain literally walk, walk this mountain loop with my mom. And I used to bitch and moan and complain the whole time. And I had this horrible attitude and I'm going to be with her next week. Cause I'm going to Wyoming. I got my camo, my camo on. I'm, I'm getting excited to go to Wyoming. Uh, and maybe we'll pop on and share that story if we can get good, um, cell coverage. But the topic is how to have how to sustain an empowering, good attitude, even when, right? Even when, and, and I'm going to be doing a training in two weeks. And so I'll share more about that at the end of this, but you know, it's easy when we wake up in the morning, it's easy to wake up and be like, Oh, I'm going to have a great day and all this is going to be well. And I'm going to have a great attitude and it's going to be a good day. And then, and then, right. Maybe we spill our coffee all over our clothes and we're in a rush to get to work or we have to be somewhere at an appointment or get our kids to school or our kids start fighting or somebody says something that triggers us or, you know, gets us offended or, or, you know, all the things, or we get in our own minds about, hi, hi, Cass, hi, Darby. We get in our own head about, um, something that happened or something that the way somebody thinks about us, which is totally not true. Cause we make up these stories. Our mind is crazy. Our mind can be crazy and play tricks on us. I'm telling you, you know, it's easy to have a good attitude when you're not around people. Just, I mean, let's keep it real here, right? It's when we get around people that are different than us, that think different than us, that have different opinions, beliefs, values, filter, and, you know, that's when it's hard or when we're going through something and we don't feel our best to have a good attitude. I mean, seriously, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, totally, Darb. I, I, I feel you, sister. But in the God Winks unit, unit, like I'm a teacher, in this page, there's units set up. You can go back and watch it. My purpose is joy. And what I mean by that really, ladies, is to have a good attitude even when things aren't perfect, even when I spill the coffee, even when I'm in traffic and a jerkwad cuts me off and I'm just being real, like cuts off, and, you know, cuts me off or, you know, isn't driving great. Or even when somebody says something that I don't necessarily agree with or like, uh, or I'm going through something that isn't fun or my kids are driving me crazy or, you know, all the things, right. Where we can get a bad attitude. Um, I used to live in, in bad attitudes. And I've just made a decision in my life that if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it with a good attitude and a good heart because what's the point of being miserable all the time? Not saying, not saying sisters that we don't go through things, not saying that we don't get angry or frustrated or stressed, but if we're going to do something, we might as well put love, joy, gratitude behind it or be miserable. We've got two choices and life is about choosing and life is about deciding. And for me, I don't want to just live life miserable. I'm just keeping it real. So it's developing a good attitude. And I, I posted something on my personal page today and it was like, you can have a good day or bad day. I don't remember exactly what it says, but it's all based on your attitude. We get to decide. We get to decide. And sisters, people will know you by your heart. So it's when we get squeezed, it's when we're going through things that what's inside of us starts to come out. So 
look, I don't say this to like offend anybody or to trigger anybody or to say like, look at me, I'm so perfect because I'm not. <laughs> I still get a bad attitude sometimes. I still have my human moments. And, but I'm so aware now when I start feeling that way, I'm so aware now, or my husband or people that, that, um, you know, people will, will, will tell me, you know, from a loving way. And I'm like, Oh, and it's and in, the, in the moment, it's not necessarily fun. So I want to keep rolling with this. So attitude, I looked up the definition of attitude An attitude is a settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something Typ typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior. So sisters, our thoughts become attitudes, attitudes become actions, you know, it leads to our emotions. And in two weeks, I'm going to be doing a training called the resilient you. And what we're going to really, what, what we're going to focus on is going within to the heart, going within to the abundant, resilient, courageous, bold, brave, I could go on and on about this version of you the version of you that's meant and created to shine and we're going to, you're going to I'm going to teach simple um, tools to go within. So when you start to feel triggered, when you start to go down the momentum path of a negative everything that it affects how you react and respond, that drains your energy, that uh, affects your emotions, how, the, how to in the moment go to the abundant version with you and your physiology, I'll get into this in the class, plays a role in that. Because when we go into a disempowered state, sisters, it affects not only our aging, how we age, it affects our immune system, it can suppress our immune system, it affects our energy. If you are in a chronic state of anger for more than five minutes, you can deplete your immune system for hours, right? We produce hormones in the body when we're in disempowering states, emotional states for a long period of time, we produce hormones that inhibit our sleep, that inhibit our anti-aging abilities in our bodies, right? We wanna live with vitality, we wanna feel good. Sisters, we're not meant to be miserable all the time. Oh my gosh, and there's a guy that's coming over to mow my lawn. <laughs> Speaking of attitude, I'm gonna have a good attitude. And uh, oh, they're looking at me. They're, they're shutting their lawnmower off. Okay. I'll be done in just a second. Thank you. You guys rock. <laughs> okay. So anyways, there's all these things that can affect us, right? When we are like chronically in states of a bad attitude, I'm just keeping it real. So a couple things I want to talk about. I Googled this today and I wanted to share this with you all. So this is eight negative uh, attitudes of chronically unhappy people. Number one, number one, they have self-defeating talk. You ever had self-defeating talk? I know I have. So what would be a way to flip that? To speak life, to have empowering talk. Uh, talk. I'm so distracted because of the lawnmowers. Okay, number two, negative assumptions. Sometimes we assume things, sisters, that are totally not true. People aren't thinking like Sometimes we'll think that people or whatever is, is happening is negative and it's not. And we make up this, our, this BS in our minds that's totally not true. You know, usually a conversation with people or uh, getting to the root of that will tell you that it's not true. Number three, negative comparison with others. Sisters, we don't have to compare ourselves to other people. We don't have to compare ourselves. If anything, we need to be fueled and fired up by other people that are, that are inspiring, that are um, helping us be better, that are doing things or have things that we want because it shows us what's possible, right? It shows us what's possible. We don't ever have to compare, ever. Number four, uh, reliving the past. Okay, the grasshopper story. Reliving the past from negative experiences. The only time is now. There's a book, ladies, called The Power of Now. It's about li living in the present moment of now. The only time is now. There's, you don't have to live in the past. Rewrite your story. I could talk about that for hours. Uh, number, I don't know what number I'm on. I'm just going to keep rolling. Disempowering beliefs about difficult people. Sisters, the best thing we can do for difficult people is number one, be mindful of uh, ourselves because we can't control other people. We can, be, we can control ourselves, right? We can be mindful of our energy. We can pray for people. We can wish people well. Uh, and know that your energy makes a difference. You have electromagnetic field around you that people can feel, sisters. They can feel you. And 
and your energy matters when you are in a when you're shining like when you're be, when you're going within this space it helps other people around you and we're going to talk about that in this course uh the desire to blame eh, the desire to blame yeah sisters the victim mentality has got to go we have to take responsibility for ourselves some things that might have happened to you in your life that are not your fault i have total empathy for that but it's what we do with it now it's, it's using our pain for good. It's sharing our struggles. It's sharing our story. It's sharing our message. Look, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to tell anybody ever that they're, you know, wrong for being upset with something that's happened to them or a situation or a such, uh, but we have, it, we go back, it goes back to now. What are you going to do with it? How are you going to shine your light? Take your pain and turn it into your message. Take your story and turn it into your message and shine your flipping light. Okay. Next one, the struggle to forgive yourself. Oh my gosh, how many times do we keep living in the past and like over and over and over, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, I should have, could have, would have. Oh my gosh, sisters, again. Mm -mm, mm -mm, that just leads to bad attitudes, bad behaviors, negative self-talk, all the things. Let it go, give it to God. You got this. And then the last one, I think this is number eight. The fear of failure and making mistakes. Sisters part of living, being resilient, part of being who you're meant and created to be is to, to step out in faith. You will never know what fits if you're not willing to try things on. You've got to step out in faith. And you know what? If you, if you try something and it doesn't work, then you go, it, it leads you to a different, you know, experience. But every single thing is for learning. Everything is for learning. What are you going to do with that? So attitudes, you guys, have you ever had a bad attitude? I have. I have, and I, and I still do get them, right? And then I have to get intentional about my attitude. I have to get intentional about shining. I have to get intentional about wanting to feel good more than not. Um, but let me tell you, staying stuck, it's not fun. It's going to drain your energy. It's going to have an effect on you. It's going to have an effect on the people around you. It's going to have an effect in every single area of your life. So in two weeks, I'll be doing a training called The Resilient You. We're going to talk about uh, strategies to plug your energy leaks, strategies to fuel your energy, emotional energy mainly, uh, tips and techniques on the go, in the moment for when you get stressed, triggered, anxious, when you start to be, hu when you're human, right, and have emotions that can be disempowering, that drain your energy, that drain your immunity, right, your vitality. We're going to talk about ways that you can go within to the heart, the abundant, resilient, beautiful version of you and shift that. And I'm going to tell you it's powerful. It's life changing. And sisters, it's a decision. It's a decision to show up and shine, right? Okay. These lawnmower guys are staring at me. They're so, they're, they're awesome people. Uh, but I'm going to get going so they can do their job. Thank you for the gift of you. You matter. You have purpose. You are worthy, loved and enough. You are meant and created to shine, shine on. If you're interested in the course, you guys, it's 25 bucks. It's four one hour sessions. It's going to start in two weeks and it's going to be the bomb.com. Replays will be available if you can't be on live. Uh, I'm telling you, this is stuff that you cannot unlearn. Once you know it, you, you're going to learn it. You're going to go, oh my God, like this is awesome. And you're just going to want to keep growing and getting, you know, growing and growing and becoming more and shining more and letting your guard down and all the fun, beautiful things. It's going to help every area of your life. It's going to help your you. It's going to help your family. It's going to help the business that you're in or the career that you're in. It's the places that you go, right? You're meant to create a shine. I love you guys. All right, guys. Thanks for, thanks for waiting. Oh, see you guys. Have a great day. Bye, Darbs.